Hello everyone, this video covers the second boss of the Sigma Escape part from the Omega Raid, Chodarnook. Like Altoloite from the Delta Escape, this boss wasn't a mandatory encounter in its original game, you didn't have to fight it to complete the main story. However, if you defeated it, you would get the character realm back in your team and unlock the Lakshmi magic site. Yes, the goddess part of Chodarnook was meant to be a painting of Lakshmi. An NPC named Hauser bought the magicite and wanted a portrait of her to be done. The only artist who succeeded to pull this out was the Young Realm. We could also see many other paintings bought by Hauser in his mansion, which helped setting the FF14's arena. Realm was a pictomancer, she channeled her magic powers through her drawings thanks to her sketch command. Also, her first weapon was the Chocobo Brush. This skill triggered the spawning of your target sprite, which then executed one between two preset abilities for each of the bosses and simple monsters of the game. Of course, these two things are reused in the 14th with the special command Chocobo Brush, which materializes or triggers effects by using it on the drawings scattered on the ground. The Savage mode adds new color restraints, for a total of four just like the number of different brush-type weapons in the original FF6. Realm painted such a good Lakshmi portrait that Chernu decided to possess it. Its presence also gave life to other paintings in the mansion, which is depicted in the Sigma Escape when it travels between the pictures. Unfortunately, the demon only had the Flash Rain skill loosely recycled from FF6. Despite the visuals, it actually did water and ice damages to your team. In the Sigma Escape, though, just the first part of that name has been glued to three skills Flashfire, Flash Gale and Flash Wave. Both of the encounters start by the goddess who then swap her place with the demon. But in FS6, they kept swapping according to some game scripts, while in the 14th, both are here and the goddess plays a more important part, at least in the Savage mode. Before covering the goddess part of Chenarnook, let's breeze through the Air Force and Typhon references. Typhon in FF6 ended our battle by using Snort to push away our fighters from the airship they were standing on, while in FF14 we used that same skill to push away the easterly adds before they explode. Right after falling off because of the Snort, our protagonists had to fight the boss called Air Force. In the V2.0, it's only used as a mean to avoid the Earthquake AoE, and you can get it as a mount by finishing the V4 Savage. On the goddess side now, she has seen all of her skills redone for the Sigma Escape, though only in the Savage mode. In FF6, you shouldn't attack the goddess or else she will counter with Poltergeist, which applied a dot on all your team that couldn't be cured unless the character died or once the battle was won. It became quite literal in the 14th where Nad is summoned, which then follows and kills a healer if it reaches them. The goddess couldn't be killed in FF6, she turned the killing blows into healing. She simply became untargetable in the Sigma Escape. Final Fantasy VI version of Last Kiss inflicted a doom ailment, killing the victim once zero was reached. Here in the 14th, it's kind of the same if you're not a tank, considering the huge amount of damages it deals on you and a rather small area around. But fortunately, you can pass it on another player. Entice in FF6 only targeted one team member, but if it connected, it couldn't be cured unless the victim or the original caster died. The affected character will turn their back on the team, attacking your characters with spells or skills and helping the boss with healing or buffing spells. Fortunately, in the Savage Sigma Escape V2, on top of having the name changed to Divine Lure and being able to afflict everyone at once, you just have to not look at her to avoid it. Lullaby, finally, is quite different from one episode to another, but keep the general idea of neutralizing your team. In the 6th, it cast sleep on your team and could only be cured if they were hit by a physical attack, enough time went by, or if another awoken character used as a on them. On FF14's side, your whole team gets the apathetic debuff, which completely depletes your MP and TP gauges and prevents all ways of refilling them. To get rid of it, you must activate the middle drawing which summons the Siren, who also completely regenerates your resources. Why the Siren? 
In FF6, it was the first time she was available as a summon for the players, and she can only be called once in the 14th, just like the summoning limit in the 6th, where you could only call each of them once per fight. Et voilà, we're done with Cheddar Nuke. The next boss will be the Guardian, and it'll be a long ride. Take care and have fun.